Lady Louise Windsor is a quiet figure within the royal family, however the 19-year-old is known for enjoying a pastime inherited from her beloved grandfather. Lady Louise, daughter of Edward and Sophie, the new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, was the seventh grandchild of Prince Philip and the Queen. For Philip, the youngster helped a special place in his heart as the pair developed a joint passion for carriage riding. Prince Philip took up carriage driving in the 1970s, after switching from polo, and he taught the sport to his granddaughter and her mother, who was then the Countess of Wessex. Lady Louise would regularly exercise the two black ponies, Balmoral Nevis and Not Law Storm, at Windsor with both ponies seen pulling the custom-made four-wheeled carriage at Prince Philip's funeral in April 2021. The Polish Dark Green Carriage which he started using in his 90s for riding around Windsor, was parked by the funeral procession and his cap, whip and brown gloves laid on a folded blanket on the seat. Before his death, Prince Philip continued to drive competitively with teams of ponies until 2003, when he retired from the sport in his early 80s. However, he continued to drive a team of fell ponies around the royal estates and judging carriage driving competitions. I'm getting old, my reactions are getting slower, and my memory is unreliable, but I have never lost the sheer pleasure of driving a team through the British countryside," he wrote in a book about the sport. But it wasn't just Lady Louise's love of carriage driving that meant a great deal to Prince Philip. Away from carriage driving, the naming of Lady Louise also brought closeness between her and her grandfather as she was the first royal to bear the surname Mountbatten Windsor. The decision by her parents not to make Louisa HRH and instead name her Mountbatten Windsor means Prince Philip's surname, Mountbatten, will survive into the future of the royal family. Lady Louise was most recently pictured at the King's coronation. Lady Louise arrived in a long summery lilac and white dress with matching lilac hat as she turned up at Westminster Abbey with her parents ahead of the crowning ceremony. Lady Louise and James were on the same row as Princess Anne, while their parents sat in the row in front. None had formal roles in the coronation ceremony, although Edward, Sophie, Louise and James joined the procession out of the Abbey and enjoy a carriage ride back to Buckingham Palace. Sophie and Edward's appearance at the coronation came just under two months after the couple were handed new titles by the King, upholding a promise made to them by the late Queen. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.